The sailors threw Jonah overboard. Jonah went down, 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 down to the bottom of the sea. But God was kind to Jonah. He sent a big fish to swallow up Jonah. For three days and three nights, Jonah was inside the fish. Jonah realised that God had been kind to him. He didn't deserve it, but God had saved him. And Jonah thanked God. Then God commanded the fish to vomit Jonah up onto dry land. And that's exactly what the fish did. Again, God said to Jonah, Jonah, go to that great city of Nineveh. Tell them they have made me very angry. Tell them that in 40 days I will destroy their city. This time Jonah said yes. Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh. He walked through the city. It took Jonah three whole days to walk through the city of Nineveh. All day long, Jonah cried, In 40 days, God will destroy this city. The people of Nineveh stopped and listened. The people of Nineveh believed Jonah's message, so they sent a messenger to their king. The messenger fell before the king and cried, Jonah said that God is very angry with us. In 40 days, God will destroy us. When the king heard the message, he was very upset. He got up from his throne He took off his crown and royal robes. He put on rags and lay down in the dirt. Then the king told the messenger, tell all the people of Nineveh, do not eat, put on rags, cry out to God to forgive us and stop doing bad things. Who knows, God may stop being angry with us. Maybe he won't destroy us. So the messenger ran to tell the people and the people of Nineveh put on their rags They stopped eating, they stopped doing bad things, and they cried out to God to forgive them. When God saw that they had stopped doing bad things and had turned to him, he was kind to them, and God did not destroy them.